Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my January favourites. It's been a really long time since I've done a favourites video and because there's been a real few things that have stood out to me and I've really thought I love these things and I want to share them with you guys, it just made sense to film one. So let's get straight into this. I think I'm going to start with makeup first. If you're here for the makeup then you're in luck. The first item has definitely been the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I know I'm like eight years very late to this hype. This is not a new product by any means to the general beauty community but it's very new to me and I am so annoyed that I did not bite the bullet and get this first. I don't know why I just continue to spend on different 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 powders and not just save up that money and buy this. Like this is one of those high-end items that is a hundred percent worth the hype. Honestly it's amazing. I feel like it's totally changed my makeup game. It literally sets my under eyes in place for such a long time. No other loose powder has the power that this does. And now I know that this works so well and I've heard that Huda Beauty is like just as good but it has, she has like colourful versions. I'm excited to pick that up later on down the line, down 2020 when I've finished with some of my other products. But yeah, this is definitely expensive. It's not cheap. I'll leave the price on the screen but it's worth it. It's, it's so worth it. It's so finely milled. Yeah, I'm so happy this is in my life. This is just a regular translucent setting powder. It's not the under eye powder or the glow version that they've come out with. It's just a regular one. But honestly, it's changed my life. And then the base, the one I've been reaching for the most has been the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I'm not going to talk about this for too long because I do have a whole review video of this, which I will link down below and I'll put it in the eye over here. <laughs> Although the longevity is not great, which I've already spoken about in the review, I do think this is a really, really fantastic base. It matches my skin tone perfectly. This is 290 and I find it so, so easy to just apply quickly with a brush. However, if I don't set it in place, it will have moved pretty quickly. So what I've been doing is using this to lightly bake under my eyes and I've just been using this powder to just set my face as well. Um, even in a rush, it's pretty quick to use the two of them together. And it just works really well. It's, it's a very nice day-to-day -day base. It's not too heavy. It's not too full coverage. It doesn't look cakey. And then the final two makeup products actually is this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Um, I absolutely love this stuff, you guys. I've, again, I've got a whole review of this up already. Link down below. It's honestly the best budget concealer that I have tried in a very, very long time. It's better than the Makeup Revolution one. It's better than the LA Girl one. It is amazing. The shade range is rubbish elf you need to do better with the shade range but this um i have this in light beige just like my brightening shade obviously because it's very very light for me but it's so good this is works really well as an eyeshadow base it works very well for under the eyes it does not crease up it sets pretty quickly and i'll just love it and then the final makeup product of January that has been floating my boat, and to be honest, this has been a favorite for the last three months or since I got it, I can't remember when, is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Glass Balm. This, again, is not a new product by any means. I think it's like two years old now at least, and I didn't get it when it was first released, but I have got it now and I love it. I'm wearing it today. It's just, I just find myself putting this over anything I'm wearing. It definitely does have color to it, so can I just show you guys? It's not a clear gloss by any means. It has got a peachy tint, which I find is very flattering against my Pakistani Asian skin tone. But sometimes, sometimes with the color I'm wearing underneath, it looks a bit off. However, most of the time, it just looks so nice. And I love a glossy lip. I feel like it looks so much fresher than a matte lip. And I feel like it can just make you look like you kind of are just like, oh, carefree, and you know, just put this on and I'm ready to go. <laughs> but the packaging is super, super cute. It's not sticky. It's got tiny, tiny little flecks of sparkle in it, not glitter though. I've had it for so long and it's still going strong. There's still a lot of products in here, so I think it is worth the money and I would pick it up again. So moving on to skincare. This stuff here, the Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment, which is also known as Hollywood's two minute facial. I started using this back when we were in our apartment and then I kind of forgot about it in the move. And it's a pretty small size, as you can see. This is 15 milliliters, so it's a very small size, but you only need a very small amount to like see the effects of it. So you can use this in the morning or the afternoon. I use this 
in the evening and I use it after I cleanse my face and basically you massage this into your skin for a good 30 seconds and then you leave it on your skin for two minutes and I kid you not there is not a single other exfoliating product that I have tried on this planet which works as well as this. My skin felt so smooth once I'd used this. I was like in shock honestly. If you guys have been following me for a while you'll know that I had my first outbreak of acne in the last year and that was really weird for me. I went my whole teens without ever experiencing acne and then bam I'm 24 and I have acne and it's it's not fun. Acne is never fun but you know you just don't expect to get it as, an, as a young adult but I did and so my skin's just been all over the place because I guess my life has been kind of all over the place in the last year and hormonally, emotionally, like moving, stress-wise, just a lot's been going on as I'm sure you guys can appreciate. So taking this toll on my skin, but this is amazing. I will leave the full price for the full size product here. I'm sure it's gonna be expensive. I don't expect this to be cheap because it is such a effective product. And I know Kate Somerville is not cheap. I think you can get her on Cold Beauty, her products. But honestly, I, I feel like if a skincare product works really well, then it's worth the investment. The second product is similar to this, but doesn't work quite as effectively, but or quite as fast. But this is a Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I talked about this a lot in my actual skincare haul and I'll leave that skincare haul in the eye and down below again because um, I talked about a lot of products that I picked up specifically to try and help to deal with the acne, to deal with the hyperpigmentation that it left, to deal with the scarring. This powerful mask helps to address the appearance of dull aging complexion and in three different ways. It's a skin resurfacer, it exfoliates, and it has a pill. It's an AHA pill. Now, if you know anything about skincare at all, even if you know the bare minimum, you'll know that for dull skin, for hyperpigmentation, for scarring, you need to think about two products, glycolic acid and AHAs. This has AHAs in it. It's very gentle because I feel like a lot of acidic products, a lot of products with active ingredients can be a little bit too strong, a little bit too intense. I never feel like this has dried my skin out, but when I do use this and I follow the instructions on the back carefully and I use it properly, my skin just feels nourished, it feels brighter, it feels like it's had a really gentle resurfacing treatment from the comfort of my own home. So again, Peter Thomas Roth is not a cheap brand, but especially if you've got problematic skin, if you've been struggling with your skin, if you've got texture, if you've got sort of this underskin bumps, if your skin just isn't smooth, then you need to try products with AHA in them and you need to check this mask out. And then the clay mask of choice for January has definitely been the Botanical Lab Turmeric Blemish Control Clay Mask. This is purifying and it is also antibacterial. And what I love about this is that it has got the magic ingredient turmeric in it. It's also got Indian clay and it's got witch hazel as well. And it's super, super affordable. So you can pick this up from Superdrug. If I just show you what the inside of the mask looks like, it is very yellow. But with those at home masks, which are great, they can get really messy. They're not gonna last a long time. You know, you can only kind of get one use out of them. And it just takes time. This is so convenient. And I haven't used it loads and loads. As you can see, I've not even got halfway through. But I feel like every time my skin is sort of playing up and it just, or it's just looking like really dull, or it's just feeling congested, I will put this on and then I will um, follow up with a sheet mask and I've absolutely been really, really enjoying it. I definitely think that it helps to control my blemishes. I haven't had many breakouts since I've started using this actually, which is amazing. And I can definitely feel it working. My Indian clay is definitely sucking out and pulling out all the impurities and the gross stuff which I, I know it's a bit of a weird thing to say, but I really love that feeling. So I'm like, yes, yes mask, you work, you do your thing, you make my skin go back to normal. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, the next thing, and I never really talk about this. I've never spoken about this on YouTube anyway, but I've spoken a bit about hair removal on my blog. But it's one of those things which as women, and some some men, I guess as well, but a lot of the times women, we go through and we have to, we don't have to, but we choose to. We choose to. Hair removal is a choice. There was a time in my life where I was like, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna have hairy arms because you know what? That's the way God made me and who cares? Who cares? But I feel like when you're married, you kind of, you kind of want to not be as hairy as 
you you maybe was before you got married, you know? <laughs> and for me, the thing that has absolutely been making my life a hundred times easier, you guys, is this. This is a Panasonic epilator. This is, I don't know what um, make it is, but obviously I'll leave the link below. I got it from Amazon. This is one that you can use in the shower, so you can use it wet and dry. It One charge lasts ages, which is amazing. It's got two options. It's got the normal option and it's got the soft option. So as you can see with this head, you've got two rows of tweezers here. And then if I turn it on, there's a light as well. And you can see it's just whirring away and the light is on and it's awesome. And then you can switch it to a slower mode. And honestly, you guys, I just think this is such an ingenious product. Now, before um, I got married, I used to use, like back in the day, I used to use an epilator. Um, but it was quite an old model. Like my mom must have had it for like a very long time and it still works. So why not keep on using it, right? And that's kind of just how I thought all epilators were because because it was an older model and because it only had one row, it would take quite a long time to remove the hair and it'd be kind of a bit more painful as well. And there definitely wasn't this two option setting. This is just, it makes it so much quicker because of the two rows. I feel like I'm really used to it now, so I don't really feel pain. It's just like a, a pinging sensation. And um, obviously certain areas will be more sensitive, like your thighs are more sensitive than your shins, for example. But yeah, I just think it's so convenient. I literally use this once every three weeks and I've got a smooth skin for the rest of the three weeks. And I only use this on my arms and my legs. I don't think I'm brave enough to use it anywhere else because it's gonna hurt. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just, just in case you were wondering, this is a really good tool that I use. And it also has a shaving attachment as well, which you can use for other areas. And it's a shaving option where you can look like yourself. So if you're someone who is a little bit clumsy and like myself, or you just don't love shaving, which I I don't I hate shaving to be honest with you, then that's a good tool to have because you kind of get two in one. Now, if you guys want to hear a whole video of my hair removal experience and my facial hair removal and my experience of an IPL and waxing and shaving and epilating and all the rest of it, then you can leave it in the comments and I'll make that for you. I don't know if that's something you're interested in. I'm always interested to see those videos because I like to see what other women are doing and maybe compare their experiences, but if you're not interested, then that's totally fine as well. Now, my app of the month is, it has to be, it has to be my Fitbit app, honestly, guys. And like I said in my goals video, one of my goals is to really start using my Fitbit properly again. As you can see, it's on my arm. I'll link this strap down below. It does not come with this strap, but this strap is awesome because it just looks a little bit more stylish. Love this app because I'm really easily able to track my fitness, I'm able to track my steps, and I'm also able to track my calories. Now, I'm not somebody who obsessively calorie counts because I think that can be very unhealthy, but in terms of if you're really trying to lose weight in a way that you're not drastically changing your diet, you're not doing anything really unhealthy, but you just want to be in calorie deficit, I just think this is the best thing. And the reason why this works so well is because it's linked to your day-to-day -day activities. Having an, an app like this and a tool like this is just fantastic. And I actually saw Fitbit had a random sale on, I think it was on Amazon again, and it was so much cheaper than when my mum got it for me. It was like around £70. So if it's still on sale, I'll leave it down below and I'll leave the whole review, I've done a half an hour review on my Fitbit down below. It's just such a helpful tool. And when I kind of have got to my limit, I'm like telling myself that, like brain, your body's had enough, so you're not hungry anymore. And you kind of have to talk yourself into these things where it was before I would have just reached for the extra five biscuits from the packet because who cares? Now I'm a bit more comfortable to myself, you know? So it's, it's a very personal thing. And I'm not saying that everyone should be out there calorie counting. It's the best thing ever for everyone. But for me personally, I've definitely lost weight. I'm not looking at the scales. I'm not weighing myself. I I think with weight loss, you can get very, very quickly obsessed with numbers and then it becomes quite detrimental. <laughs> and then the final thing I really wanted to show you guys um, and the final favorite of my month is definitely my brand new website. I finally, well, I already have the blushing giraffe, as you probably know. You might not know because you might be a new subscriber, in which case, hello, welcome. <laughs> I actually started this whole journey off by having a blog and I still have my blog. I just haven't written on it in so long. Fingers crossed there'll be a post out soon. 
But anyway, I have a photography website now. Woo! I'm so happy. It's taken me a good couple of weeks to properly set it up. And um, in between setting it up, I've been doing different events and um, I've been building my portfolio up. And I'm so happy because I feel like as a photographer, you should have your own website. I think Instagram is okay as an initial portfolio, but professionally, it just looks so much better to have your own website. And yeah, this is what my website looks like. This is the first thing you will see if you ever go on it. It's ikraphotography.com. You can follow me on my photography Instagram here and you can look at some of my work as well. And what I really love about this is that if we go to menu and contact over here, you can see there's a really, really handy form here that you can fill out if you want me to be a photographer. Alhamdulillah, like I'm really proud of myself that I got that going and I know that I would not have got to this stage already where I've already made a photographer website, I've already put the hours and hard work in if I hadn't been for my 2020 goals and setting them and manifesting this this dream of mine to make photography into um, a hustle for me into reality so if you've not seen my 2020 goals video yet i will leave it here that should be the next video you watch honestly guys because yeah it might be february but you still have 11 months to try and make this the best year ever and i really think that we can do it as long as you set your goals and as long as you follow the steps in that video <laughs> inshallah you'll be fine um thanks so much for watching i am aware this video has become 20 minutes long if you have any of these products as your favorites let me know down below and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching. Bye guys! Bye.